What up, everybody? It's Peace. I welcome to another video. Mm. Pendulum. Oh, guys, I got um, fifth place out of like 14 people. I don't know. I changed the list um, and made it even better. So we're gonna open up my prize packs um, and we're gonna we're gonna get into the deck profile. So first up, let's open up this Genesis Impact. Bottomless, Drytron, and uh, Live Twin. All right, let's open up the other Genesis Impact, actually. All right. Um, bottomless again. All right, Drytron, Alpha Thuban. All right, so let's open up Ancient Guardians. This is the new set. Let's see if we can get a collector's rare. Um... Um, no, we did not. I don't know any of these new cards. All right, let's get into the profile. Enough with this garbage. Start with the main deck. So we kept the three harmonizing. This is your key win condition. It's possible summons from deck, but you can only XYZ and synchro with it with um, another uh, um, magician card. But uh, that doesn't matter when you're just linking it off half the time. Uh, your one double iris. Um, the guys wanted me to cut this. But I like it. It's another high scale. It's another level four. Like, who cares? It's a dark. It's at one. Whatever. I'm going to play it. Uh, next, two Black Fang. More high scales. Uh, it's secondary effect to pop and special summon from Graveyard. Rarely comes up, but it's there if you need it. I am playing a White Wing Magician now. It's an extra tuner because uh, I realized that I want to have a higher Magician count. Uh, because most of the time I can go full combo without resolving Pend Call if I have enough material. Because essentially... Um, this can replace harmonizing if you already have another level four in hand. So this just allows you to play more with more hands, bless bricking, um, two old dragon magician. Um, I mean, like it's pretty good. I mean, I, I might even bump this up to three, but it is a low scale. The adding back is really powerful. Uh, this is new. This, uh, people disagree with me very thoroughly on, but it comes in clutch. Wisdom Eye, it's essentially any scale that you want. Um, it just gives you three generic magicians. It does not work with Pend Call, which is why everyone doesn't like this card, but I like it a lot because any three magicians is usually full combo if you open up a Harmonizing as well, or a uh, White Wing Magician now. So I, I like that card a lot, actually. Uh, it, it fills up your extra deck so you can actually just Pendulum Summon. Um, next up, Dragon Pit Magician. This is the last, uh, Magician Pendulum card, I think. Yeah. Um, this is for Spells and Traps. Uh, you pop them. It's nice that it's a level 7. It's unfortunate that it's a water. But, uh, being able to discard any Pendulum card to pop your opponent's back row, out's Mystic Mine. Next up, Triple Dark Worm. Uh, this is a key part of the combo. Um, still a 3. We cut, uh, the Supreme Gate 0 down to 1. I mean, it's nice to always be able to add, but, um... You really need to draw gas in this deck. Uh, so just one. Then the bricks. The one tuning magician. Um, you need it for the combo. The buster lock. Uh, this These two cards are just insane. It makes dragon-like combo so powerful because uh, this is a soft once per turn. So once you equip this to it for the first time, you bring it out and you can use it as link material for something else. You turn this into pisty and then you bring this back out and then you get to buster lock on uh, another one of your cards. So that's, it's really cool. Buster lock out so many things, uh, like even dinosaurs, it like stops them from making link rebo and stuff. Um, I cut the master pendulum down to one because like you don't really want to draw this i mean it is a scale three and stuff but you just want to special summon it from your deck with ignister and then go from there like if it's in your hand just pendulum summon it out you don't need to clog your deck with non-magician pendulum monsters like this is just for summoning off of ignister uh and then the galactic spiral dragon this thing comes in clutch just being able to special summon itself out in defense mode 2500 defense i used my buster lock on this card and it actually uh won me a game uh, next up, Triple Gamma and the Driver with a Called by the Grave. I group all of these at once because getting Ashed on your Pend Call or getting Drolled on an Allure of Darkness, um, or anything like that sucks. So if you, uh, but you do do a lot of things, um, before you actually put a monster on board. So you can... Uh, use Called by the Grave on your opponent's Ash Blossom and Joy Spring or their um, Droll and Lockbird, or you can just Gamma them. 
Uh, we now do play something in the extra deck specifically for this because in order to resolve Dark Worm, you need to have no monsters on field. So there's something that we use with this to take care of uh, the monsters that are on our field when we activate Gamma on our first turn. But um, those, the, those uh, five cards are essentially for uh, hand traps going first. Triple Allure of Darkness. Uh, we are at 40 cards right now. I might increase it, but essentially Allure is trying to dig deeper into our deck to find our combo pieces. Uh, Foolish Burial and Dragon Shrine. Uh, Dragon Shrine is obviously for Dark Worm, um, but Foolish Burial, I actually ended up dumping a Spellcaster and bringing it back off Selene. So this can not only dump Dark Worm, but it's versatile in the form of if you don't have a Spellcaster in Grave, you can send one and then bring it back with Selene, which is really nice. Um, next up, three Pendulum Call. Uh, this is the heart and soul of the deck. If this gets ashed, you cry if you don't have your Gamma or your um, uh, Call by the Grave. Duelist Alliance, this searches um, your uh, Pendulum Call, or it also searches your um, Time Pendulum Graph, which is really nice. This also pops uh, back row and out Mystic Mine, and it can even send something if you resolved uh, Pend Call. Um, but I really like that um, that you can use this. If you draw this with multiples of, like, Pend Call, you have another search target. Ravine for your uh, Romulus to make your combo to make Harbinger. And then your Time Pendulum Graph. Um, we're not playing the other one anymore. Uh, we cut Chronograph Sorcerer and Time Gazer Magician because, honestly, having those extenders didn't really do anything for us. Uh, next up, um, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. This pops your opponent's board. Uh, next Synchro is Cypher Lord Omega. So this is what we go into when we Gamma our opponent on our uh, opponent's turn. So Brian went into the lab and figured out a way to do full combo without Striker Dragon at all. So we were able to cut Striker Dragon for Cypher Lord Omega and still end on the full board of um, Buster Lock on the Borlode Savage Dragon, the Heavenly Spheres, the Abyss Dweller, and the Harbinger, which is absolutely insane. Um, next, we've got Ignister... Um, Really nice level 8 synchro. Uh, and then finally for the synchros, we got Savage. So we play four level 8 synchros. <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, next up for our other boss monsters, the Xyz Era brought us Abyss Dweller and uh, Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy. This protects our Seal of Heavenly Spheres or our Apollosa, depending on our end board. And then Abyss Dweller, this plays around Dark Ruler no more because even if they Dark Ruler you no more you, um, you are still not having to deal with any of their graveyard effects. Next, all the rest is Link Monsters, Pisty and Alpi. Because these are not banned, you can play the dragon combo in many various decks, including one of the best dragon boss monsters in the game, in my opinion, Seal. I mean, hard negates are really cool, but being able to bounce something to your opponent's hand is even better than destruction, because this can't even protect against destruction. This does not target. This is one of the best boss monsters in the game, which is why it's uh, such an expensive price, and Dragon Link is playing two of this now. Um, next up, Protector Whelp. This dumps your Buster Lock, which makes it really easy access. Um, Romulus to search your spell and let you get out of the Dragon Link combo if you absolutely need to. Uh, Needle Fiber uh, gets your Tuning Magician out of your deck, which is really useful to climb up into your next card, Selene, which can uh, gain counters and summon stuff back to climb into Apollosa. Really, you just link climbing to Apollosa to protect the rest of your plays. And then finally, Boral Sword. This is actually a boss monster that you can end on first turn because this switches stuff to defense mode and cannot be destroyed by battle. Very good card, actually. Finally, side deck did not change. Shout out to Team Bad Cards. Rest in peace. Triple Rosphere mode. You don't always need your normal summon when you're going second. Uh, pinker tops for in general, like back row decks or uh, stuff that's not summoning the barrier statue so you can actually summon this thing. Um, next up, you since you don't need your normal summon, those back row decks are going to be crying since you're going to Allure of Darkness into your Denko Sekka. Um, just summon that and then they can't really play unless they already activated continuous stuff. Next up for those dang combo decks, including the the silly barrier statue. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, this is not like Lava Golem or a Kaiju. This does not special summon itself. You normal summon it to the side of the field that you tribute the monsters on. So if your opponent has three monsters on board, including the barrier statue, you normal summon this to their side of the field. It takes your normal summon, but you did not special summon. So this divine beast is being summoned to your opponent's side of the field by a normal summon. So this gets around the barrier statue of the, the winds that people are playing. Uh, Dark Ruler to get around that, and Winda, you just hold it. Um, mind Control, this can just take a problem. Unfortunately, it's at once, but whatever. Like, you just take their problem, they either have to negate it, or you can link off with it. Um, 
triple cosmic cyclone uh, for those back row decks. You can't afford to discard cards. Uh, and popping is not very good, which is why this is not Twin Twisters or MST. Cosmic Cyclone is the next best thing. Um, and then finally, Red Reboot, because if you Red Reboot, you win. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, shout out to Tony for recording it. Thank you guys very much. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.